serial eligibility in DPMS. At first, what is serial? A series of operation from one transaction to another transaction is known as schedule. The order in which the operation of multiple transactions appear for execution is called as a schedule. It is used to preserve the order of the operation in which the individual transaction occur. The types of schedule mainly there are three types of schedule one is serial schedule non serial schedule and serial eligible schedule now what is serial schedule the serial schedule is a type of schedule in which one transaction is executed completely before starting another transaction execute all the operation of t1 which was followed by all the operation of T2. Let there is an example. There is two transactions T1 and T2. The T1 first read the value of A. Then he update the value of A. A minus N. Then write the value of A. After that T1 read the value of B. Then update the value B equal to b plus n then write the value of b after the completion of transaction t1 t2 transaction begin read a then update the value a plus m then write a so it is an example of serial schedule non-serial schedule if interleaving of operation is allowed then there will be non-serial schedule. In the given figure, schedule C, are a non-serial schedule. It was a interleaving of operation. There is an example T1 and T2. In T1 transaction, at first read the value of A, then value of a a minus n then transaction t2 okay. t2 read value of a then write uh, the value of a a plus n then in transaction t1 write the value of a then transaction t1 read value of b then transaction t2 occur write the value a then transaction t1 again transaction t1 occur the value of b b plus n then write the value of b so in this example t1 and t2 is a interleaving operation example of non serial schedule now what is serial eligible schedule the serial eligibility of schedules is used to find non serial schedule that allow the transaction to execute concurrently without interfering with one another. A non-serial schedule will be serializable if its result is equal to the result of its transaction executed serially. Uh, serializability is a classical concurrency scheme. It ensures that a schedule for executing concurrent transaction is equivalent to one that execute the transaction serially in some order. It assumes that all accesses to the database are done using read and write operation. A schedule is called correct if we can find the serial schedule that is equivalent to it. There are two types of serializability. One is conflict serializability and another is view serializability. In this video, we discuss the conflict serializability. Now, what is conflict serializability? A schedule is called conflict serializable if we can convert it into a serial schedule after swapping it non-conflicting operation. Now, what is meaning of conflicting operation? Two operations are said to be conflict 
if they satisfy all of the following three condition both the operation should belongs to different transaction both the operation are working on same data item at least one of the operation is right operation the example of conflict operation swapping it possible only if s1 and s2 are logically equal there is a two schedule uh, one is s1 and another is s2 in serial uh, schedule s1 uh, the initial read is a and in t2 transaction uh, read a if we swap this in schedule s2 t2 in t2 transaction read a first and then t1 transaction read a here s1 equal to s2 that means it is non conflicting there is an example second example there is also two schedule one is s1 and s2 uh, in s1 schedule one initial read in t1 and after that in t2 transaction write a if we swapped it uh, initial transaction in schedule 2 is t2 write a and then t1 read a so it is not a non conflict transaction because it means it is conflict transaction because the operation are different now what is conflict equivalence in the conflict equivalence one can be transformed to another by swapping non conflict operation two schedule are said to be conflict equivalence if and only if they contain the same set of transaction each pair of conflict operation are ordered in the same way there is an example uh, there is two serial one is non serial serial another is serial 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 s1 is non serial serial and serial s2 is a serial 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 s2 is a serial serial because in this all operation t1 are performed before starting any operation of t2 schedule s1 can be transformed into serial schedule by swapping non conflict operation of s1 in schedule s1 first in t1 transaction read a then write a after that in t2 transaction read a write a after that in t1 transaction read the value of a and write the value of a then the in t2 transaction read b and write b after swapping a non conflict operation the schedule c1 become read a write a read b write b in t1 transaction after that in t2 transaction read a write a read b write b since s1 is a conflict serializable because it satisfy the condition of conflict serializable so thanks for watching